masking a concept that can be used to show and hide portions of views in Swift UI as well as in design tools. In Swift UI, we can use a mask in several ways. Enter clip shape. One of the masking techniques in Swift UI. The clip shape modifier can be used to clip views like an image to shapes such as circles or rectangles. We will do three things in this video. One, I will show you how to place a mask on the green rectangle. Two, I will show you how to move the mask along the X axis to reveal and hide portions of the green rectangle. In the third step, I will show you how to animate the mask to make the green rectangle draw and erase itself in order to create this animation. So let's begin by placing a mask on the green rectangle. Before we do that, let's preview the animation to see what we have. This is a progress indicator animation and the green rectangle just moves from left to right. We want to place a mask on the green rectangle so that as it animates, the left and right portions show and hide themselves. We will add the mask after the foreground color modifier and we are going to use the clip shape modifier. After adding the clip shape modifier, we need to specify the clipping shape. Over here, we can specify a rectangle, a capsule or a circle. Let's use rectangle. You can see nothing happens to the green rectangle. The width still remains the same. We can use the offset modifier to specify which portions of the green rectangle should be hidden. So let's add it. We are going to use only the X coordinate and by specifying a certain value, we can hide portions of the green rectangle. Let's put for example, 100. You can see the left portion of the green rectangle is hidden. By changing the value to minus 100, we also hide the right portion of the rectangle as shown over here. If we change the value to, for example, 150, now we don't see the green rectangle at all. So I'll change it to, for example, 120. Now only small portion of the green rectangle is remaining. We want to use animation to show and hide both the left and the right portions of the green rectangle as it animates or moves from left to right. To do that, we will need a state. So let's define a state, trim stroke and set its initial value to false. So where this animation is triggered, we will bring the state and use it to set the final state of the animation. Over here, we are going to toggle the state so that it switches between the true and false states. So we have now placed a mask on the green rectangle and created a state. Let's use the state to animate the X offset using a ternary conditional operation. We are going to remove the X value and paste the state and then put question mark. A conditional operation has two values, true and false. So when the condition is true, Let's set the X offset to minus 100. And when the condition is false, we will set the X offset to 100. And that is all we need to show and hide the left and right portions of the green rectangle as it animates. So in this video, we learned how to place a mask on the green rectangle. We also learned how to move the mask along the X axis to reveal and hide portions of the green rectangle. In the final step, we animated the mask to make the green rectangle draw and erase itself in order to create this sending progress animation.